Thousands of people gathered on the National Mall this May for Public Service Recognition Week. Representatives from the local, state, and federal government came to display and explain what they do for our country. Is the, the yellow robot here is made by Mesa Technologies, and it's uh, mainly for exploration. And we're working on uh, it's a prototype we're trying to figure out and uh, see where we could use it in mine uh, emergencies and mine rescue situations. This is the National Archives booth, and we're having people sign a copy of the Declaration of Independence, um, telling people about what we do, what kind of exhibits we have. We're basically here to give people information about the uh, National Archives, and if they've never been there, encourage them to come and see it. The thing that sets us apart from most other helicopters are the camera systems aboard this aircraft. We have a, uh, a very high-tech, uh, one of the newest uh, camera systems available, the small glass cockpits, the newest technology and uh, it's a dream to fly. My name is Ursula Ford. I'm with the Chem Bio program over at the Pentagon. This here is our level B protection for any splash hazard or anything like that. He's wearing a self-contained breathing apparatus. Hi, my name is Shauna. I work for the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency. We're here representing at PSRW this week. Got lots of visitors stopping by wanting to find out exactly what NGA is. Well, folks, we handle the imagery, the maps, the imagery intelligence. It's taking that foundation layer of imagery, the pictures that you see that we take with satellites in the sky, taking the intelligence that we get from that. What's on the ground? What does it mean? What showing today is a Glacier National Park, and you can see that image in 3D based on information gathered from the Shuttle Radar Topography Mission. Hi, everybody out there. My name is Sergeant Lawrence Perkins. I'm one of the senior sergeants on the Pentagon SWAT team. We use this right here for seeing up under doors. Uh, and if you see the end of it on the vision scope, it moves left, right, up and down. Hi, I'm Doug Bem, and I'm with the United States Postal Inspection Service, the federal law enforcement and security arm of the Postal Service. We're standing outside our shelter tent that we have prepared for when the Postal Service needs to respond to natural disasters such as fires, storms, hurricanes. We can set this tent up uh, to serve as a command post to reestablish uh, communications and Postal Service operations. But inside there's heating, cooling and lighting and we have our display inside where we're offering uh, information about uh, what we do as far as keeping the mail safe and secure and offering some of our fraud prevention videos as well. We came in this week with the AH-1W Cobra attack helicopter, which is the Marine Corps' primary attack aircraft to support Marines and soldiers on the ground through uh, close air support and also through uh, convoy escort. We uh, protect convoys as they transit and assault uh, aircraft as they uh, move from place to place and we do a lot of uh, medical evacuation and casualty evacuation. There are a lot of people that they'll come up to the aircraft to, well, I've seen this on the news or I've seen it in a book, but to actually come up and see them up close in person is a dramatic difference. It's hands-on. Everybody, families, kids, they can get inside the vehicles, they can check everything out, uh, kind of get a feel and a hands-on experience for everything. So I think that's a, that is a great part about everything here. I think it's a phenomenal opportunity for us to reach out to the public, say, hey, this is what we're about, this is how we serve you. And I think it's a great opportunity for the public to see exactly what the military does, what the government does for them to keep them safe every day. Among the many exciting and fun events that took place during Public Service Recognition Week was Fed Pitch, a contest in which federal government employees pitch their ideas for improving the government. The winning idea has the chance to be put into action as a government program. During Public Service Recognition Week, a naturalization ceremony was held. The keynote speaker at the naturalization ceremony was Michael Donnelly, Secretary of the U.S. Air Force. The future hope and promise of America is being fulfilled by a new generation of young people and immigrants, new citizens, stepping forward to claim the rights, the duties, and the opportunities of citizenship. Join us next May for the opportunity to meet our country's best and brightest and learn about how they make America what it is today.